Let's start recording. All right, here with Coach Warner from Georgia Tech Softball. Just overall impressions, how the offseason has been going for the team? Uh, the team's had a great offseason so far. Um, we've built our team chemistry, which was one of the you know top priorities for us. Um, we just feel that the better together as a team we are, the more success we're going to have. Um, you know, you fight for each other and we become more successful as a team physically and mentally. What type of activities did you do in the offseason as far as training or just off the field? Uh, we've done a lot, a lot of team bonding. We went away for a weekend and, you know, just, again, got to know each other on a more personal level and just did a lot of team activities, trust activities. And we also did something with um, the Navy SEALs. We had two Navy SEALs come in mm -hmm. and just put us through uh, mental and physical training. And it was probably in the 18 years of college coaching I've had was probably the most beneficial for a team. And it was amazing. Uh, they were just great, and they've continued to support us. So that really helped the team along with that team bonding trip. I saw that online. How did you get hooked up with the Navy SEALs to set that up? Actually, um, a, a player's father um, had suggested these two individuals to us, and I got in contact with them, and it just went from there, and just very grateful for that opportunity. And again, they just came by again last week, so they are forever uh, Georgia Tech fans. Yeah, going back on the field, just how have practice has been going? Have you been able to go outside and do activities? We're going through a cold trip spell here in Atlanta, but have you been able to go outside and take care of your responsibilities? We are. Uh, we even went out yesterday, and it is, you know, it's pretty chilly. But if we don't, if we don't prepare in this, then we're not going to be successful on the field. You know, when we play in this kind of weather, so we've been able to get out there. We've been getting after it, um, both offensively and defensively. Uh, the team looks great. We are um, very sharp defensively, especially mm -hmm. and. I feel in the you know two and a half years that I've been here, we're hitting the ball better than we ever have been. Yeah, let's break down the, the group movies. We'll start with the infielders and catchers. Uh, just how's that group looking overall as a unit? Uh, very, very solid. Uh, you know, from the catching standpoint, um, you know, we've got great armors behind the plate. Um, and then we've got our middle infield back, which is always a plus working together year after year. So, you know, Kelsey and Maddie have really, um, you know, become one. And just, you know, they've, they've gotten quicker on a lot of things, their first step, um, just their hands have gotten better, and they just worked really well together. How about the outfield and those positions? Uh, we've got a strong outfield. We've got um, five strong outfielders, and they're competing day in, day out for a position. And we've got great arms out there and that cover a lot of ground, so that's huge. Obviously, in the college game, we need that. We need to, you know, we need to cover ground, and we've got some speed out there, um, and then, you know, put that together with great arms. Uh, two more things. The pitching staff, uh, just discuss some of the arms you have in that rotation who are going to see time this year. Sure. We've got um, Emily Anderson, who's a, a returner sophomore, um, throws the ball well. She's got a lot of spin to the ball, and just really um, coming her own this year, her, just her mentality is, is great. She's very confident, um, and I've seen a big change this year from her, and that's exciting. But she just she's taking control of the pitching staff, and, and I'm loving what I see out of her. Um, then we also have freshman Jenna Goodrich, and you know she's a completely different pitcher, um, but she is she throws the ball a, a heavy ball, um, but she is just she's coming her own as well. And just obviously there's freshman things that you know the kinks that she needs to get out, but. The compliments that they both have for each other it is wonderful, and being able to use them in, you know, both of them in one game, I think that's going to really help us because they're such different pitchers. You open the season, I think, with Georgia State, and then you have the ACC, I think, it was an ACC Big Ten Challenge, and you're hosting it. Yeah. Uh, discuss those games and how how are you going to prepare for those overall? Obviously, we're looking at this as the preseason and really just to get out there and see different pitchers. We've seen, obviously, our own pitchers, and we've seen, you know, BP. Um, but, of course, getting out there the, those first few weeks is to really, you know, see other pitchers and get our timing down um, and just, you know, seeing the different um, different motions, which will help us. This, is, this preseason helps us for our conference, which is, obviously you know the strength of our schedule so we want to make sure that you know we're able to get out there and play our kind of ball you know and again focus on what we need to focus on to be successful in the ACC.